how to create a website using google sites hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can build a website using google sites so for this all you need is your google account everything else you can do for free it's simple easy and effective and especially if you're only looking for an online presence and you don't really need a lot of payment features or you don't need a e-commerce feature in it then using Google Sites is a great option because it can help you in dealing with a free domain, free hosting, and much more. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to sites.google.com. Once you open up sites.google.com, click on blank site over here. Now there are a few templates that you can pick out from, such as portfolio templates, student profile, salon, work-based templates, small business templates, but I'm going to get started from scratch to show you guys the full potential of using Google Sites. So I'm going to open up a blank site. Now this is the blank site. This is going to be your home page. On the home page on the bottom left, you have your cover banner, large banner, simple and title only. Then on the top left, you can click on add logo. And from here, I like to add my logo, favicon, navigation items, and some other settings that need to be added. You can also access these from the top right over here. So let's say I want the navigation to be on top and I want it to be a white navigation panel. Then I'm going to upload my logo. So I am just going to upload the logo that I have created for my business. So I can't find my logo, it should be around here somewhere, but I'm going to download my logo off of Canva. So I have created a logo for this, but since we can't find it, I'm just going to use this one. Click on download over here. And once I've completed my download, I can just upload it. So I'm just going to upload this one like so. Now, once we have that, we're going to add our alternate text. This is going to be used by screen readers for people who might have trouble seeing our content. And then we're also going to upload our favicon. Now, the favicon is the logo that appears on the top left of your toolbar or of any tab. Whenever you open a new tab, you have this little tiny version of the icon. So this is our icon for our favicon as well. Then we have custom domains, analytics, and more. But... For now, this is enough. Now I'm going to enter the site name on the top as well. Now this is totally up to you if you want to include the logo plus site name or just the site name. I think I'm going to go with both of these options. Then I'm going to enter information about our business and I'm going to change the header type to a cover header. Join the wave now like this and maybe I want to add like a button on this as well so for us our brand is called mira the one that we are going to be designing a simple website for and this is going to be for a art gallery so let's say i'm going to change it mira house of legacy like this and then i'm going to add an image in the background so i'm going to click on upload over here you can even click on select and we are just going to be using a simple image now if you don't have your own images you can always click on select and select from your gallery your drive or even search by url so i'm just going to search for art over here and i'm um, art gallery like this and i am going to be using a nice little image like this one like so and then after that you will see you have different content blocks so you can start adding those as well but once i add this this is like the basic start of my website so after this i want to include maybe some information about the different types of art we might have or some information with images so i'm going to go for this column or content block where we have two content blocks and i can just select an image go into google images and i'm just going to use some of these images from here and maybe these are just some articles about art so i'm just going to resize the image blocks or the text blocks a little as well and then i'm going to enter some information so historic art 
and then we have modern art and then we are just going to write some Laura Sipsum like this whatever information there is about your particular art gallery like that so we can add that over here some more detailed information then i can enter some text blocks first i'm going to add a divider and then after our divider i might want to build a collapsible group where i have you know information about the art we have collected like this and then we can just enter you know whatever 1990s 1980s 1950s whatever it might be the art period times we can add that and then we can add our footer as well now this is just one page to get started with our second page i'm going to click on pages on the top right column and then from here i am going to click on new page this might be our art info page and then one other thing a lot of people don't realize is that within your pages you can also add different menu sections so you can click on add new menu section and this might be prehistoric items like this and this would be a subsection within this page however it would not be you know a section where it's not going to be in a separate page but it is going to be in the navigation panel and it would lead to that particular section of the page but I'm going to keep it simple because I only want pages. And then I'm going to go into my art info page and I'm going to make it a simple banner. And then I can go into insert. And then from here, I can insert some text. Now I want to make this in half a column and then I might want to include some images. So I can click on image over here. I'm going to select an image from Google. Historic art and i'm just going to take this image click on insert and then we have this image and i can insert it right over here now i can insert some text now i can also do you know different stylization of this where i can put this in the center and then copy this text block and just insert another text block over here so i can move this text block over here and now I have like these two little text blocks and then the image inserted in the middle. And then I can write information about the art and so on and so forth. And once you have completed designing all of your pages, all you have to do is click on publish on the top right. And then you're going to choose your free web address that you're going to get with Google Sites. So I'm going to use Mira Art by Jane like this. And then you can choose who can view your site. I want anyone to view our site. And then I'm just going to click on publish. And then I can click on view over here. And just like that, our Google Sites website is now running. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.